my name is Carrie Blakeman. I'm an importer located in the United States. We reside in Maine and our warehouse is in New Jersey. I've been working with Christian, the Savor Piedmont, and the Chamber of Commerce for six years on this program, which is, I feel very lucky and honored to be part of it. Um, I'm traveling on this trip with some of our customers, visiting very um, incredible small producers. Um, rice, hazelnuts, a chocolate factory, uh, salumi, uh, and there's more to come. And uh, so far my impression is that we are, are seeing incredible family production, people really dedicated to what their job, what they're doing, what they're choosing to do. And um, the, the conversation in the bus is a lot is electric. People are saying, oh, I really like that product. I can't wait to get back to the United States and talk about when is it going to be available and share with you what I liked. And I will let my colleagues speak and... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Brad Hedeman and I'm a retailer. Um, it's a, well, a mail order company out of Michigan, so we ship all over the country. And we've been doing this for 30 years, so we do a lot of Italian products, but you know it's always been from the places that most people know, the Tuscany or Puglia with olive oil or Sicily and sea salt. So Piedmont, uh, you know, outside of Gianduja, which we carry a lot of, has been very singular. It's been about the chocolate. So getting the chance to come here and meet hazelnut producers, rice growers, pepper growers, dairy men, cheese makers, all of these different producers have opened up our eyes really about the different varied food of the Piedmont and what's available to us. And it's not only been like incredible to discover all these kind of things, but the most powerful thing for me is always meeting the people that make it. Um, as a retailer, I see my, my job as sharing the story of the producer, the people behind the product, the people behind the cheese, the people that take out the cows and milk them every day, the people that are working really hard to make something that's really delicious. That's my role, that's my job, is to do them justice, to bring their story back and share it with my customers so that they can connect with the food as well. So this has made my life really easy because getting to come out here, meet the people, shake their hands, hug them at the end of it, and leave feeling like your friends, I feel like I'm working for them more than they're trying to make something for me. So it's been invaluable and in all of these trips any opportunity like that i would i would highly recommend anyone jump at the next opportunity they can so what do you think daniel <laughs> hey my name is uh, daniel sheshi and i work for a meat and seafood and specialty product wholesale distribution center in birmingham alabama and um Unlike these guys, I'm actually fresh, I'm new, I entered into this field and came on this trip as an invitation to expose myself to meet more producers and to see quality product. And the company I come from, we pride ourselves on pursuing the highest quality, but not only in terms of product, but also in terms of relationship building and establishing relationships with the customer, but also with the people that we work with on the back end, our vendors and our producers. And I think it's been really impactful for me being able to meet these producers and see the effort, the risk that they take in pursuing excellence and we're all about excellence and I think even in this trip the way it's been organized and structured like everything from the people we meet to the meals we taste at the end of the day that have been beautifully crafted to represent what it is to eat food the quality of Piemontese um, so just falling more and more in love with everything the product the people the people I came with and it's just really cool to know that there are people all over the world especially here in Piemontese, Italy, that care about doing things the right way at whatever cost so that people can enjoy what good, healthy, tasty and impactful food is. Not just the quality, but also the quality of the story and the people that are attached with it. Well said. There it is. <laughs>